Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about the milliamp fuse in your meter. We've covered this several times before, but it's worth revisiting. And also I'm going to show you how to fix your meter if you have blown the fuse in it. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And ask any questions that you have in the comments. Your question this week could easily be next week's video. And this video is a result of one of those questions. Jocelyn asked, if I understand correctly, your bad meter will never measure milliamps again. Is my thinking correct? No. The fuses are replaceable in every multimeter that I've ever ran into. So thank you, Jocelyn, for asking this question. First, let's make sure we understand what's going on when our fuse is blown. So I have both of these meters set up for 200 milliamp, and this is actually the bad meter from our last video where we go through exactly how you can easily blow the fuse in the meter. So I'll put a link to it in the description. That's an important one to watch. But I haven't replaced the fuse in that meter. If we take our PLC tools, SIM ALP2 analog simulator and put it in current source mode, it's going to create its own signal. So 20 milliamp, and right now it is saying open wire, and that's because I don't have the probes on it yet. But when I touch these probes, which are from the left-hand meter, then we're showing 20 milliamp. If I take the probes from our bad meter and touch it, then it shows nothing. And also our open wire doesn't go away. So this open wire banner will always tell you that either the fuse in your meter is bad or you have a bad lead. But there's another quick way that you can check your fuse in your meter without actually opening it up. And this will even work with our bad meter. So I'm gonna take our bad meter and I'm gonna switch it to ohms. Then I'm simply going to touch the red lead to the red lead and the black lead to the black lead. And on our right hand meter, it's showing that we have very little resistance. So the fuse is good in this one. Now let's do the opposite. Let's put our right hand meter on milliamps and our left hand meter on ohms. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So I'll touch the red lead to the red lead and the black lead to the black lead. And it's gonna show that we have an open circuit. And that's because the fuse is bad. Now, one thing I'll tell you is if your meter shows like 100 ohms, chances are your fuse is bad. You should be showing virtually zero resistivity. So let's take the meter apart and show you where the fuses are at. Now, I'm actually not gonna take the bad meter apart because I'm gonna, it seems to be useful um, showing people how that works. So I'm gonna take apart the good meter and show you by popping it out. Let's just take the cover off. And then on this one, there are two screws on the back of it. And some of them you have to take the leads out, some of them you don't. So I'll just go ahead and take the leads out of the meter. And we're gonna take those two screws out of the back of it. And we'll slide that cover off. And we're gonna see a fuse right here. All right, so this meter actually has a single fuse. Oh, uh, okay. And if you look closely at the front of it, it says 10 amp max, but it says unfused right there, which means if you hook anything over 10 amps to this right hand post, which is not what we were using, then it will blow this meter probably. So this other one though says 500 milliamp max fused. So what we're gonna do is we're going to turn this meter back on. I could use some help, can you help me? Please, I'll be your best friend. And I have my trusty helper window because I need like four hands to do this. Can you hold the analog simulator? So there, we're showing 20 milliamp here and 20 milliamps here. Now I'm gonna pop this fuse out and immediately this is gonna go to zero and it's gonna show open wire there. So what I've done is I've actually just popped that fuse out far enough that it's not touching. So just to show you, the moment that I press this fuse in, it's gonna show 20 milliamp and our open wire is gonna go away. If we pull it loose, it's gonna show no amps here and open wire over here. Perfect, thank you so much helper. So if you pop open your meters, most of them will have at least one fuse, some of them will have two, and the smaller fuse is the one that's gonna be blown in these situations. So thanks again, Jocelyn, for asking this question. Like I always tell you, your question this week could always end up being next week's video. Till next time. 
Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.